as long as I don't give up on myself, like there's hope that things can get better and there's hope that there's a way out of whatever situation I'm in. When I was 16, like I didn't believe in myself at all. I really didn't think I was gonna live past 18. Like if that happened, that would have been a miracle. And it did. And now I'm 20. <laughs> And how many years sober do you have? Um, two and a half years. Congratulations, baby. That's so crazy. I've been living in a sober house on Cape Cod, and I did that for a year. I moved out of that sober house, and I moved into a graduate house. Yeah, then I moved into my own apartment, <laughs> and uh, then COVID happened, and since Corona happened, I still technically live in that apartment, but I have moved back into a sober house um, so that I didn't have to be alone during Corona. And I took an EMT course, and I just graduated my EMT course, and I passed my practical exam, and I passed my national exam, and I'm now a certified EMT. Ultimately, like, what keeps me clean is the fact that so many of my friends have died from this, and, like, they don't have the opportunity to get another shot at staying clean. They don't have an opportunity to go to treatment again. They don't have an opportunity to get clean again. And I'd be selfish if I, you know, like, wasted the chance that I have. Like I got to go to whatever, I had the fancy insurance card that got me to whatever treatment I wanted to go to and you know, so many people don't have that. And it's like, I have this opportunity, I have you know, all the resources I need. Why, why not like take advantage of that and do it not just for myself, not just for my friends, not just for my family, but for like, everyone that doesn't have that opportunity. What it comes down to is like, Sean was my best friend. I like do this for him because he like wanted to be clean more than anyone I know. And he doesn't like have a chance to be clean anymore. And like, he like should still be here with us. If I can help someone else and keep his memory alive in any way I can, like I'm gonna do it because he didn't like deserve like what happened to him. No one can really relate to like what we went through at this school unless you went through it because it's not an experience that like anyone else has ever had. Normal people when I say I went to recovery high school, they're like, oh, like a credit recovery high school? And I'm like, no, like a addiction recovery high school. They're like, what was, you mean you went to treatment and you did your schoolwork in treatment? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I didn't. It's like recovery high school and people just don't understand it unless you live through it. And it's like, when I'm having a hard time, like I'm not gonna text someone who I know won't get it. I'm gonna text someone who went through like the same experience as me. You know, like I don't trust people very easily. You have to like prove to me that you're gonna like fall through because so many people in my life have like left and so many people in my life have just like been like I'm not I'm done with you like I'm done with you you're a mess but like the only person besides like my family that's stayed with me the whole time has been Michelle when something bad happens to me the first person I call isn't my mom <laughs> she's gonna kill me um <laughs> Even when good things happen, I text Michelle. I texted Michelle before anyone else when I got my EMT certificate. The fact that she doesn't treat us like we're bad, she treats us like we're sick because we are, because addiction's a disease, it's not a choice. We don't choose to live our lives like this. Like, that's the only reason I'm clean. Being treated the way I was treated when I went here, like, I would, no chance. I would be dead 100%. I, there's no way I would be clean today. Since filming the documentary, I feel like the easy answer would be, I'm proud of the fact that I'm still clean and like sober, but by far the thing that I'm most proud of is getting my EMT certificate because I don't finish anything. I, I'll start everything, but I never finish anything. And that was like the first thing I finished and like I did it by myself and like, no one thought I could do it. Like people told me to drop the class because my class was online because of Corona and people said, oh, you're never gonna 
get through that, just drop it and wait until you can go take it in person. And like, I wanted it so bad just to prove to myself, like you can, you know, find something that you're passionate about and you can go do it. It like gave me like a sense of self-confidence that I've never had before. Well, my ultimate dream, which I say all the time, is to be Michelle Lipinski. I want to do for other people what she did for me. Cause I see how many lives Michelle has changed and how many of my friends she's literally saved and like, I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what my future looks like. I don't like to think about it because that's scary, but all I know is that whatever I end up doing, like I want to help other people.